what we want to have is users to be able to publish their content without having to worry about, do I need to pay licenses fees? Uh, is it per bandwidth? Uh, or is it, is it just per the content, the number of content that I have? At the end of the day, we want people to be able to publish this video the same way they publish images today. And, and if they have to pay licenses fees just to do that, I don't think this is acceptable. All right, so tell us about the implications now of um, this beta program going on with Opera and Firefox uh, and using the uh, Theora encoding. And what do you think of that? And what are the implications for that? I think what is, what is becoming great is, is, um, is you will have a, you know, a first class support of video within the browser itself. So that the same way that you are linking an image from your hypertext document, you will be able to link a video from your RP text document. Just says video and this is where it is. And it will be displayed uh, the same way as, as an image is being displayed. And, and uh, uh, so that's, that's the first great thing which is happening. And now you can imagine on Wikipedia um, having videos next to the text as the same way as you have uh, images next to the text right now. Another great thing which is going to happen is we're going to be able to develop more a web tool application that integrate nicely with video uh, support because uh, what those uh, browsers are coming up with as well is a JavaScript API to interact with the video content directly from the web, from the HTML slash JavaScript code that you have embedded in the page as well. Might, might video become more open source, do you think? Well, that's a difficult question to answer in the sense that we don't know to what extent PetSense are uh, affecting the, the video codecs available out there. And, and we are looking at the question, but it's a very difficult question. Uh, um, some of the codecs, uh, a lot of, the, of those codecs like H264, VC1 are, are open in the sense that you can actually download the specification uh, from somewhere. Sometimes you have to pay a small fee to actually do that. But, but you, can, you can access the specification for that. But it doesn't resolve the problem of the licensing fees affected with, with those video codecs. And, and it's not like we are talking about one company owning the rights to the video codec. We're talking about uh, 30 or 40 plus companies having patents, essential patents in the field. So that's, that's a difficult issue. Um, that's certainly a problem that companies like Adobe or Microsoft are perfectly aware of. And they're trying to actually make the experience to the users as, uh, as easy as possible. Um, but uh, to, to some extent, uh, uh, that's an issue that will keep being remained.